All right, shalom, shalom. Some preachers I want back with another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. Giving our praise of going on to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. It's always peace and bliss to the hopeful elect. Coming back with an update to the major earthquake that happened in um, Morocco. Okay. Um, so as you can see here from NPR, NPR.org. It says a powerful earthquake in Morocco has killed more than 2,000 people. All right, so the death toll has risen, and that's a major, a major destruction and major judgment by the Lord. Okay, and like I said before, this is a sign of Yahweh Shai returning. Okay, coming back. All right. With the world enemy calls Jesus Christ is getting ready to return to the earth. But before he does make his appearance and his triumphant return and gets his victory over the nations, there's going to be destruction in the earth. OK. Now, it says over 2000 people have died and more than 2000 others have been injured. After a powerful earthquake struck close to Morocco's historic city of Marrakech. Now, it says 2,000 have died and 2,000 have been injured, but, you know, I'm pretty sure it's more. All right? It could easily be about 10,000 people killed down there. Okay? Over there in Morocco. You know? Esau doesn't always put up these um, true numbers, but hey, it's it's still a judgment, okay? Um, like I said, you know, I I pretty much I went over this in the last video, and this is um, just an update, all right? But let me read this. Now, this is, you know, the spirit. It says... Um, it says Morocco's interior ministry said on Saturday night that at least 2,012 people died and 2,059 were injured, 1,404 of them critically injured. All right, so there's your, your, four, your 144, which is a spiritual number referring to the 144,000 that will be with you, Howard Shah, when he returns, the, the ruling government of the Israelites, okay, but that number is spiritual, okay, so this is all through, all through the power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, okay, um, the power is still out, uh, let's see here, Yeah, so like I said, you know, this was an update on the news of these uh, of this earthquake happening in Morocco over the weekend. Okay, now on top of that, there was another major earthquake that happened. All right, and it hasn't been talked about, and this was. You know, right before that one is a uh, from ABC News, a powerful 6.2 magnitude earthquake shakes northern Chile. So, like, like the scriptures say, earthquakes in diverse places. So, last week earlier in Chile, all right, there was a 6.2 earthquake, and then there's 6.8 hit Morocco. That's on the other side of the world. That's a whole other country. All right, so you have one, the one in South America where Chile is, and then you have one in Africa where Morocco is. Okay, so this is how we know that these are a part of the prophecies and 
in uh, in the Bible, okay? Uh, it says a magnitude 6.2 earthquake shook northern Chile on Wednesday, but there were no immediate reports of damage or injuries. Uh, let's see, I'm going to jump down. Uh, Chile's National Emergency Office did not report any damage or injuries. Chile is located in the so-called Ring of Fire in the Pacific and experiences frequent earthquakes. In 2010, a magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake and subsequent tsunami claimed 526 lives. Uh, yeah, I remember that, all right? And it's, I mean, 8.8, .8, you know, to a 6.2 is a big difference. But this just shows you that these things can be a lot more deadlier, man. You know, I mean, the Lord killed thousands of people to his judgments with a 6.8. So imagine as as this earthquake starting to get uh, starting to get into the 8.0, 9.0, hell, 10.0 on the Richter scale range. All right. <clears throat> um that's that's mainly it. Uh, yeah, that's mainly it. This here. Oh, well, let me get the scripture. All right, let's get the scripture. Matthew. You know what? I got Matthew 24 last time. So let me get the book of Mark. The 13th chapter. Because it says that this judgment is going to come in, in, in all the gospels pretty much. Okay. Speaking on Yahweh Shai. Returning. These things that were going to happen in the earth before he comes back. This is uh, Mark 13 and 8. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And it pretty, says, it pretty much says the same thing Matthew 24 says. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. All right. So different places are going to be major earthquakes. And every time. You know, we hear about these things, you know, we praise the Lord, okay? We rejoice in the fact that the Lord is, is bringing judgment, but it's also major prophecy coming to pass, right? I spoke about the major earthquake that happened in Turkey earlier this year, all right? So now you have these major earthquakes happening, uh, the one in Chile, and then the one in Morocco, all right? And there could be another major earthquake somewhere else this week. Okay, how about that? So we're in the times that the, the scripture here, it says that was going to come. Uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. So sorrow has to come to this world because the people started with the Edomites alright they're proud they're the haughty people of the earth and they have to be brought down through these type of judgments okay death and destruction okay this has to take place alright now let's see here now, this is another major judgment. This is, uh, and this could be an, an effect. Let me see here. Now, this is from NBC News. It says thousands, thousands, more thousands feared dead in Libya after dam collapses. Uh, the disaster in, in Derna in eastern Libya swept whole neighborhoods with their residents into the sea, one official said. Okay. Now Libya is not far from Morocco. All right, when you look on the map of Africa, all right? It's all in uh Morocco and uh, Libya is in northern Africa. And this could be a direct effect of the earthquake shaking things up. Because the angels are working over there in that region. 
All right, this is from Benghazi, Libya. All right. Uh, authorities in eastern Libya said at least 2,000 people, more 2,000. Okay, 2,000. And that number keeps popping up. People were killed and thousands more were missing after a massive flood ripped through the city of Derna following a heavy storm and rain. Yeah, so you had an earthquake. Now you got heavy storms, rainfall, flooding out these cities over there. <clears throat> it says the head of the Red Crescent, Red Crescent Aid Group in the region had earlier on Monday said Derna's death toll was at 150 and expected to hit 250. Warders could not independently uh, verify either figure. Okay. Um, yeah, September 11, 2023, which uh, when you, I guess they're a few hours ahead of us, all right, uh, here in Babylon the Great. It says, Ahmed Mizmari, the spokesperson for the Libyan National Army, that controls eastern Libya said in a televised news conference that the disaster came after dams above Derna had collapsed. But why did they collapse? It could be from the major earthquake that hit their region. You know? When you shake up that much amount of earth, sediment and dirt and land moves, you know? Only the Lord knows. It says uh, sweeping whole neighborhoods with their residents into the sea. So they got drowned. So a heavy earthquake hit the region. Storms, heavy storms hit the region. Okay. The dam collapsed. And then they then people drowned. And once again, all the praise and glory goes to the Lord, man. The scripture says, praise, praise ye the Lord uh, and his judgments in the earth. It says, Ms. Mari put the number of missing at 5,000 to 6,000. Okay. Hey, 2023 is the year, hopeful year of the Lord. Yahweh bringing all the prophecies to pass. Okay. The hopeful year to all the prophecies come to pass. We've seen all kinds of prophecies begin to uh, to uh, manifest themselves. Earthquakes in diverse places. You know, there's been talks of a reemergence of this uh, C19 pestilence. Okay. Um, uh, Elon Musk having his uh, Neuralink uh, C hip approved for human trials. Which goes into the MOTB. All right. Wars and rumors of wars. All these things are coming to pass now. This year. And it's going to continue on. As time moves forward. Okay. But let's continue to prophesy these things. We told you. Okay. And I'm talking about. Starting with the apostles and elders. The men at, at Great Millstone. The GMS. You know we told you these things were going to happen. All right. We told you that 2023 was going to be this type of year. All right. Now we'll see in the next few months how the Lord wants to close this year out. So-called year. And we will move into you know, the next. If this is will. Okay. How he wants to take, take these things out, man. Okay. Cause hey, if all this hey, this process is moving quick, man, and hey, we could be delivered soon. You know, going into twenty twenty four, but we'll see how how our twenty twenty three will uh, play out. It says Libya is politically divided between east and west. It goes into two thousand eleven. Uh, Let's see, it says, Osama Hamad, the head of a parallel eastern-based administration, 
told local television that more than 2,000 were dead and thousands more were missing. Storm Daniel swept in over the Mediterranean on Sunday. Okay, so this was a storm from the Mediterranean. Hey, the angels stirring things up. Okay. Uh, swamping roads and destroying buildings in Derna, hitting other settlements along the coast, including Libya's second biggest city of Benghazi. Photographs of Derna, which Reuters cannot immediately verify, showed a wide torrent, which is heavy, heavy water, moving water, running through the city center, through the city center, where a far narrower waterway had previously flowed. Ruined buildings stood on either side. Footage on social media and broadcast by Eastern Libya's almost cable TV show uh, show people. Let me read that again. Footage on social media and broadcast by Eastern Libya's almost cable TV show people stranded on the roofs of their vehicles calling for help and waters washing away cars. The missing are in the thousands, and the dead exceeded 2,000, Osama Ahmad told Al Masar TV. Entire neighborhoods in Derna have disappeared, along with their residents swept away by water. Hey, and that's on top of the, the, that fire that hit Maui. They're, those residents, all right, they're, they're, their cities and places are totally destroyed. Their homes are destroyed. Okay, so you got fire, earthquake, water. All these things are happening, man, in the earth, okay? So let me get one more scripture, okay? Um, I read this in Mark, but now I want to get Joel, the second chapter, All right? This is Joel. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 30. Under the day of the Lord. Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Joel 2 and 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. All right. And we've seen wonders in the heavens. I believe there was a meteor shower this summer. All right. You had a. Uh, um, Super moons, okay, eclipses, signs in the heavens, okay, and in the earth signs. One major sign are us brothers out there, us, uh, us Hebrew Israelites as a whole, different groups teaching on the street corners, prophesying and preaching on the corners. That's a prophecy in the earth, okay. Among other things happening, like these, like this storm that just swept these people, thousands of people in Libya. Okay, it says earth, blood, right? The people getting killed, wars. All right, earthquakes. It says and fire, like that fire that hit Maui, and pillars of smoke. Verse 31, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh shall come. And there's an upcoming eclipse happening in uh, October this year, 2023. And there's going to be more to come in 2024. So there's more signs in the heavens. Verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord which is not God or Jesus, but their names, their names, because they're two separate entities, all right? The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, a Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and uh, that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall be delivered. So you have to call on the name of the Lord to be delivered. They have names, personal names. Like every human being has a proper personal name. The Lord and his son have proper personal names in their respective languages, which is the ancient Paleo-Hebrew. Okay? It's not 
Yahweh or Yeshua or Yahuwah or Yahweh or Yah no, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. And that's talking about the people, right? It's going to clarify. As the Lord had said, and in the remnant. It's not talking about the land. He's not going to deliver the land. The Lord's going to de deliver the people of Mount Zion, the people of Jerusalem, which are those people over there in, 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 in the state of Israel today. Okay? The Edomites over there. It's talking about us so-called black Americans here in the States. Those of us of a, 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 a native Indian descent, whether you speak Spanish, Portuguese, all right, or your Native American tongues or Indian tongues, okay, and those of us that were brought, up, brought over here to the Americas from West Africa on cargo slave ships, our people are the Israelites, and it's talking about the elect, the remnant of us being delivered. When we start to see all these signs come to pass, and this is part of the prophecies that we were going to see before Yahweh Shah makes his return. You know? So with that, oh, those are edifying. Our praises go to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kabadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.